All right, good evening, uh, Cougar fans. Um, we're coming to you live from the hole here at Simpson Academy, and uh, we're going to do something a little bit different uh, tonight. We've got a special guest, Kobe Walker, senior last year, part of that great state runner-up football team, and uh, he is going to start joining us uh, for a, a little bit of a pregame um, and halftime and then postgame analysis um, each week uh, that he can make it. So, Kobe, it's, it's good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Great to be here. Now, um, uh, tell us tell us what you think about Hartfield and, and kind of what you thought about Tri-County last week. Yeah, um, Hartfield, they're the best in 6 and um, they're going to be – they're going to be a really good physical football team, and um, they have some big old kids, and um, hopefully we can come out here and get a win. Um, yeah, last week at Tri-County, um, you know, it's, it's tough. I mean, it's tough to go on the road, but um, Tri-County, they were made it to the state championship last year. Yep. And, um, and they're historically a really good football program. You know, I think uh, I think Coach Kaufman, who will be joining us later, he's the voice of the Cougars. I think uh, he told me last week that uh, Tri-County is the only team that leads the uh, the career series between us and between them and Simpson, an opponent from Simpson. They were they 11 and two against us over over the uh, lifespan of the MAIS. So uh, that, uh, they're always pretty good. Yes, sir. They really are. And we had we haven't played them in a while since 1987. 1987. That's a really long time, and it's good to face them again. You know, really good competition uh, to start the season, and. This schedule don't get any easier. Um, we play some really good teams. Start with start with Hartfield, like you said, they're a really physical team, and hopefully we can come out and um, get a win. Yeah, absolutely. Well, look, Kobe, we appreciate you joining us uh, for a little bit of pregame analysis. Uh, pretty good insight there, and uh, you'll be back with us at halftime, yes, sir. correct? And, yes, sir. Uh, and we'll talk. We'll talk through halftime, and then uh, and then you'll lead up to to ACCS next week on yes, our post game. Yes, so, sir. Thank uh, you for having we'll, me. We'll see you here. See you here at uh, at halftime. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to see this happening because I was just going to tell you tonight. I was like, I got the next guy to be the, the, the live stream dude right here. 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 Right
uh, I know our team will be ready to play tonight, and they'll come out focused and play hard. And without a doubt, we got a great coaching staff that's been around the block, and they'll have these kids. Look, they may not be the team. Uh, uh, later in the year, you'll see a totally different football team than what we've seen, what we'll see early in the year as these teams, this Simpson team tries to uh, kind of get its footing and establish an identity and just see who they are. But uh, anyways, we've got a great night for football. It's always great to be here and to see the green grass at Simpson Academy, which is one of the finest football fields in the state of Mississippi. So, uh we're off and running the Hartfield Hawks. The Cougars won the toss and they deferred. So, uh, or actually, Hartfield won the toss and deferred. So they kicked off to the Cougars. The Cougars will get it at the 35. It was a kick went out of bounds. So Cougars will get it at the 35 and they'll have it first and 10. So first and 10, Simpson. We'll see. Let's see if we try to do a little different stuff here this week than what we did last week. Right away, we come out under center with a two back set. Uh, looks like we're running a little veer right there, just a hand handoff straight ahead to one of the running backs, and he gets a yard on the play. So it'll be second nine for Simpson. Like Hayes Berry, the junior running back for Simpson in there, one of those slot back spots. The other slot back is number nine, Benjamin Kennedy. Your quarterback, of course, is 10, Barrett McKinney. We'll try to get the rest of the starters to you here momentarily. Now, they're going up against a very talented defensive front for Hartfield Academy. Man, you thought it was tough last week. It gets even tougher this week. It's Hartfield Academy with about four or five Division I football players on their football team. That number 14 you see right here at this defensive end, that's Reginald Vaughn. He's a 6'4", 250-pound defensive end, being recruited by everybody in the country. So, uh, very talented defense at Hartfield Academy to throw on the field tonight. Another give right up the gut to Perry. He gets about four, so maybe third and five for Simpson. Ball right over the 40-yard line. That's Chris Jones on the tackle for Hartfield, number five. Again, another Division I player. Chris Jones, a senior, 6'1", 220, committed to Southern Mississippi. A linebacker, very, very talented kid out here at this corner. And another kid has been recruited by just about everybody in the country already as a sophomore. Your receivers over here, you got 14 punches, 24 dunking. Those are guys that have played a lot of football for the Cougars in the last couple of years. And right away, they're going to throw this way, looking. They're going to throw out here to Punches. And a <laughs> punches had it, but uh, the defensive back, Womack, knocked it away at the last minute. Looked like a completion, but... Ball at the last minute just knocked away, and the Cougars have fourth and five and have to punt. <coughs> Excuse me. The Cougars might go for it here. It looks like offense still in the field. But I like that play call. Roll the quarterback out of the pocket and uh, throw a little out pattern. Had both the receivers running out patterns. One went a little bit deeper than the other one, and a good pass. Just knocked away with good defense. Now the Cougars will punt. You got punches back deep to punt the football for Simpson. Had a little problems last week with our snap. This week we get a good snap, and then it's going to end up being a good punt. Didn't come off the foot really good, but it's going to end up rolling down inside the 15 to the 12. So Hartfield will have it first and 10 from the 12. So that worked out just right. We'll take over. First down. Number 11, and he's going to pick up about four yards. That's Reed Jaslowski. I hope I pronounced that right. Another highly recruited kid. He's 6'4", 210. Uh, a Southern Miss commitment. Four yards. Brings up second and six. Going to play tight end when he goes to Hattiesburg, but right now playing in the backfield for Hardfield. Tough, tough football player. Runs the ball extremely hard.
Oh, and the Cougars pick it. That's Funches with the pick. And he's going to take it down inside the 20. And the Cougars will have it first and 10. Interception by Funches. Wow. The Cougars will take over on downs at Hartfield's. They'll give it to Kennedy. Off tackle, just running straight ahead. And Kennedy might get a yard. It's going to be third and goal from the eight. No game. Last week we told you the overall results from Tri-County and Simpson. I got the overall results. Coach Mullins sent them to me earlier in the week. Coach Mullins is a Simpson County Academy football history book is what he is. He has he knows everything about football here at Simpson Academy, the history of the school the, as far as football. He, he's got it. In fact, he's got a big notebook just filled with stuff and information about Simpson football. And in this series, Simpson holds a 4-2 lead over Hartfield. Last time we played Hartfield was in 2020, and Hartfield put it on us. Last two times, actually, Hartfield beat us. We won the first four. Hartfield won the last two. Oh, it's an end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Cougars. Pass complete to Pinkerton that time. 4-6, and the Cougars on the scoreboard first. Nine-yard touchdown pass by Kenny to Pinkerton. We put the Cougars on the scoreboard. 6 nothing, pending extra point. Oh, that's huge. All right, we're ready to try the extra point. That's 25 in to try the extra point. Parker Pierce, a junior. Snap. Good hold, kicks up, kick looks good. All right, great. So your score, Simpson seven, Harfield nothing. I don't know how much time's left in the first quarter, but we're gonna take a break for our sponsors and we'll be back for the kick in just a moment. We're back. Cougars ready to kick. As Parker Pearson has it teed up. Cougars sideline excited over here on the side. Coach Mangum all smiles. I love it. Little pooch kick is going to be caught around the five. And that's Jones. Oh, my goodness. He's a big old boy. He's coming up field hard. But the Cougars get him around the 48. Jones, 10 yard return. So Hartfield will have it first and 10 from the 48. Hancock, Barry on the tackle. And we look like we might have a water break. Yep, they're going to take teams to the sideline, take a water break. And we'll take a break right here with it. Again, your score, Simpson Academy 7, Hartfield 0. All right, we're back. Hartfield has it first and 10. Try to get this Cougar D to you here in just a second. Looks like you're in over here on this side. Number 32, that's going to be Chase Adcock, a sophomore in. Your other end on the other side, number 51, that's Will Smith, a senior. Your tackles. 
Be number 66 is one tackle, Eli Brewer, a sophomore. And number 54, Brody Blakeney, a junior. Again, youth up front. Your linebackers, number nine on the outside. That outside spot is going to be Kennedy, junior, 24. Duncan comes to one of the outside linebacker spots. Cougars like him more in a 4-4 set this week. Give to Jalowski. He's got room. He's in the secondary, still running. And he will be knocked out of bounds by Kennedy from by Kennedy around the four or five yard line. Be first and goal for Hartfield. Hartfield hurry ups to the line. Safety's number four, that's Walker. That's Cade Walker, a junior. Here is Hayes Berry at just a moment. Simpson Cooper seven, Hartfield Hawks seven. Well, that's kind of surprising. I like it. We're back. Hartfield has it. First and 10 at the Cougar 33-yard line. Quarterback for Hartfield, number 12. That's Cam Cayman T Tapper, a junior, 5'9", 170. That's Jalowski running hard, just running through tackles. Still running in the secondary. Going to be brought down again by Kennedy inside the 10. Just such a big, strong, hard runner. First down run by Hartfield. He's going to get it down to around the five. First and goal for the Hawks. Hartfield comes to the line of scrimmage. And there's a flag. Not sure what that was unless it's thrown from one of the back judges. I don't know if Simpson may have lined, off up, lined up all sides or what the deal is there. Let's see what the call is. Timeout, Hartfield. Take a timeout as well. Be back here to Simpson Academy in just a moment. Well, you're doing double duty back there, Max. Oh, back and forth. <laughs> All right, we're back. First and goal for Hartfield. Ball marked inside the 10-yard line around the, looks like around the seven. Pistol set for Hartfield on this play. They'll take receivers, split them to each side. Got a man in the slot. They'll take the running back, move him around. They'll give it to him off tackle. Running hard. Good job by the Cougar D. They're going to stuff him in there. He might have got a yard or two, but that's it. Kennedy coming off the tackle as well as. Kennedy on the tackle. 
Trying to get some of these numbers in there. Like 50 in there on the tackle as well. That's uh, De Devin Drennan in there on defense now for the Cougars. Drennan, a big, strong kid. 6'4", 290-ish or so. Just a big, good-looking kid. Maybe 6'5". Second goal, Hartfield. He'll give it to Jaslowski, and he's going to get to the outside. Oh, and an ankle tackle by 24. Great Duncan, job, great Duncan. job. Brings him down. He got a yard or two, and that's it. It's going to be third and goal from the three for the Hawks. More of an eye set this time. They'll bring that H back in at a fullback spot. And it's going to be offside Simpson. Ah. Ugh, it's going to move it down and make it third and go from about the one and a half. Mm. Yeah, you just got to think they're going to give it to 11 here and let him go straight ahead. You got 10 in front of him at fullback 10. KD Ketchens, a running back, 6'1", 200. Sophomore, just a sophomore, big kid. Quarterback under center. He's going to give it to the fullback, just running straight ahead. He just goes through the Cougar defense for a touchdown, Hartfield. And the Hawks take their first lead of the football game. So in to try the extra points, that's number seven, Jackson Jenkins. Sophomore kicker for the Hawks. Good. So your score now. Second quarter action. Hartfield 14. Hartfield Simpson 14. 7. We'll take a quick break. Be back for the kick in just a moment. Hartfield ready to kick. Back deep for the Cougars. This time is Duncan, number 24. And a good kick. Deep kick. Going to be received by Duncan around the two. Duncan looking for a whole boy. He's running hard. He's running hard. And he's still, oh, he's met at the 33 and stood up. But Dunk, I love the way he just turned that thing up and just went. That's how you return the football. Great tackle. Another great return for the Cougars. Ball out to the 33, 34-yard line. First and 10, Simpson. Need a drive here. Take it on down. Get several first downs. Keep that clock moving. Stay in this football game. Give yourself a chance to start the second half. Hartfield with a great student section on the far side. They taking up one block of bleachers over there with their students. That's, that's a good job by them coming down here and uh, supporting their football team. So first and ten, Simpson. Cougars again go back to that bunch set. Two men in the backfield. Ooh, Hartfield just dominating up front right now. They're going to stop them right at the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard loss. I'm going to give him a yard loss, make it second and 11. That's two. Barry on the tackle. I mean, Barry on the run, rather. Not on the tackle, but on the run. Hayes, Barry. Second 10, Simpson. So 
Santos. They have market at the line of scrimmage. So second 10 for the Cougars. Same set. Pitch this time to the outside. And just nothing there. That's two. Barry running hard. And brought down pretty hard as well. Barry with the run. And mark it right at the line of scrimmage again. No gain again. So it'll be third 10, Simpson. Only good thing about those two plays is that clock keeps running. Third and 10, Simpson. This time, Funches a split up top. Duncan to the bottom side, split out. Oh, we fumbled a snap. Going to run it up field and pick up a few yards. McKinney picks it up and gets up over the 40 to the 41. Give him six or seven Let's yards. Seven, actually. It's going to be fourth and three. Six-yard gain. Comes up fourth and four. Bunt team huddle up on the side. And the uh, offense will come off the field. The punt team comes on the field. Back deep will go number one for Hartfield. That's West. And number two, Womack. Funches a kick for the Cougars. Let's get a good snap here. Good kick. Good job on the snap. Good kick. And they're going to let it go. And it's going to get a good Cougar bounce. Inside the 15 to around the 13-yard line. So good job all the way around there by the special team. Special team's much better tonight. I like that. 46-yard punt. 46-yard punt. Good snap. Good coverage. Hartfield, first and 10 for the Hawks. It's got to be close to six minutes to go here in the second quarter. Hartfield with a 14-7 lead on Simpson. And what do we got here? Oh, we got a flag back here. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have to punt it again. We have a legal formation or a legal. So the Cougars have to punt it again. Oh, no. So they'll mark off the five. And the punt team will come back on the field. Let's see, 61, Barry over here on the sideline. I know he got rolled up last week at the game. I'm hoping he's okay. I see with a brace on his knee. He's a big, good-looking kid in this Cougar team. Not very deep this year, but we don't need many injuries, especially from our linemen. I hope he'll be okay. Low punt this time is going to be received and get up field quick is number one. He's breaking tackles out to close to the 45. They'll mark it at the 44, first and 10 Hartfield. So instead of having it on the 13, they've got it on the 44-yard line. First and 10. They'll actually mark it at the 45. So first and 10 Hawks. Need to stay in this football game. Got to get a stop here. Shotgun, quarterback looking to throw, throwing out here to the outside, got his man. Kennedy's going to bring him down around the 49. Completion for about four yards. Good job by Kennedy. He wrapped him up and was not going to let him go. They'll give him five. They're going to mark it out close to the 50, so give him five yards, make it second and five. Quarterback looked deep. That man was covering. He came back to the uh, short guy. Kennedy got out there quick and wrapped him up. Good job. Second five. They'll give the Jaslowski off tackle. Got a little room in the secondary. Still running. And he's going to get inside the 30 to around the 27, 26 yard line. First and 10, Hawks. First down, Hawkfield. Tackle. Levin's a big kid, but he's got a whole lot more nimble feet than I thought he would have. He really got those feet chopping and moving and dancing. He's just a good athlete. First to ten, Hawks. 
Quarterback stays in the shotgun, looking to throw. Nothing there. Now he's going to run. He got wild. Yeah, a lot of green grass. He turns it up, and runs, and going to get inside the 20, inside the 15, down around the 13 yard line. First and 10, Hawks. Run by Tapper. First down, Hartfield. There wasn't anybody on that far side. There's a lot of green grass, and he turned that thing up, picked up big yards. First and 10, Hawks. Shotgun again, give to the running back. This time the Cougars do a good job. That's 32 Adcock in there on the tackle. As well as 13 for the Cougars. That's going to be Jacob Colson also in on the tackle. <laughs> give him two yards, second eight. And there is the water break. So we know we got six minutes or so left in this first half. Score, Hartfield 14, Simpson 7. We'll take a break. Be back here to the hole at Simpson Academy in just a moment. Music. Coach McNulty on the music tonight, doing a great job, bringing out the 80s classics. I love it. He's looking to throw across the middle. Got his man just a little too hard and a little behind him. Incomplete, third and eight. Big third down right here for the Cougar D. Need a stop. Big game in Madison tonight as MRA will take on the reigning 5A state champion Oak Forest Yellow Jackets. Interesting, interested to see what a score to that game may be. You have to Jaslowski off tackle. It's going to be brought down close to the first down. I think he's a little short. He was pulling tacklers with him. Cougars had him after about a gain of two, but Jaslowski just kept moving, kept moving. He's going to bring it down, make it fourth and one for the Hawks. Get low, D, get low. Sell out on the run here. Back to an eye set. Ten in there at that fullback spot. Quarterback's going to sneak it. He does. He goes straight ahead. That's going to be close. I don't know if he got it or not. That's going to be really close. It's going to depend on the mark. Cougars did a pretty good job. You can see that quarterback came to the line. Boy, he put that foot back in the stance. You could tell he was just going to take that snap and go straight ahead. So oh, first and goal for the Hawks. They'll give him the first down. Shotgun set. Give to Jaslowski. He bounces off tackles, bounces off tackles into the end zone. Touchdown, Hawks. Touchdown, Hawks. A good drive by the Hawks. They take it down the field. Some 60 yards and put another score on the scoreboard and increase their lead. Good snap, good hold, kicks up, kick is good. So your new score, Hartfield 21, Simpson 7. We'll take a quick break, be back for the kick in just a moment.
This is Chris Curley from Main Street Realty. Call Ambulatory Equipment. In rural communities, access to capital is a problem. And without that access to capital, it's hard for banks, it's hard for small businesses to grow. People's Bank is a family-owned bank, and it's been around since 1908. Our mission is to uh, help rural communities be the best they can. Primarily, we feel like small businesses are the engine that drives communities. All right, we're back, Harfield, ready to kick. Back deep for the Cougars. This time looks like number six back deep. It is six. That's Kane Butler, who had a great game last week, I thought, for the Simpson football team. It's going to be Butler on the return. Butler, just a sophomore, gets it, comes up field, looking for something. Another pretty good return. Out close to the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. First and 10. Ball marked at the 29. First and 10, Cougars. Eric McKinney on the sideline getting the play call from Coach Mangum. He'll come in the huddle now. Cougars again will stay with that split backfield. Went, been, been with this formation all night. Got the bunch set with the receivers. They're going to roll that way toward the bunch set, looking. And throws it incomplete. That time you had a couple receivers in the same area. Well, if they didn't cut one of them, maybe didn't cut their route off quick enough or something, but they were all both in the same area. Passes incomplete, second 10. You hate to see an incompletion, but you really hate to see that clock stop, too. It's a two score football game. If we can go in and keep it a two score football game, you still feel like coming out of the second half, you got a little shot. So, second 10 Cougars. Cougars spread it out a little bit here. We go two receivers split to this near side. One in the slot. Funches out deep, and they're looking out here to Funches. Got him. Oh, but he's hit right as he throws. Hit by Jones. Jones showing good sportsmanship, helps him up. But, uh, great pressure and forced him to get rid of it a little quicker than he wanted to. Pass is incomplete. Third and 10, Simpson. Third and ten for the Cougars. Cougars take Duncan and split him to the top side. You got Funches down here one on one. Let's see if we try to throw something deep to Funches. And we do. We're looking long, looking long. Not, mo not much time. So McKinney's going to run it. He may get the first down. He does. It might have been a late hit. That was close. So close. No flag on the play. McKinney went up under the. With a 13 yard run. Is he up? Kenny's still down here on the sideline. Let's hope he's okay. Good hit by Jones and was so close to the sideline. He just hit him hard. He just flew off to the side and went up under the bleach, under the seat down here. Good run by McKinney. He's going to pick up the first down, be first and 10. Cougars at the 44. Thank <laughs> you. 
And McKinney's up. He's okay. Good. Good to see. Good to see. And he's got a little smile on his face. So McKinney up on his feet, ready to go. Of course, we'll have another quarterback in here on this first play. That's going to be number two going to quarterback now. It's going to be Barry at the quarterback spot. Kennedy at a running back. Walker at a running back. And they're going to run a quarterback run to Barry, and he's going to go down to a knee for a loss of about two. Page Barry with the carry. They're going to make up second and 11. Uh, I'll give it just a loss of one, make it second and 11, Simpson. And it looks like McKinney coming back in the game at quarterback. He's talking to Coach Mango on the sideline, and he will. McKinney back in the game. So second and 11. Receiver split to each side. That's Duncan and Punches. Looking. Throwing across the middle. Just got rid of it quick then. Punches still running his route. Incomplete pass. McKinney to Punches. Brings up third and a long 11. Third and 11, Simpson. Third and 11 Cougars. Looking, looking, oh, and a rush. Number eight's got him in the backfield. Brings the quarterback down for a big loss. Around the 32-33. It's no time to throw the football, and the Cougars, they're marking all the way back at the 30. Wow. It's to be fourth down, Simpson. A. Cooper Howard in there on the pressure, a junior 6'1", 180-pound linebacker. Cougars will have to punt. Again, Hartfield, one of the more talented teams in 6A. A team that could compete for that 6A title. Now, they're not eligible for the playoffs this year, but uh, they have enough talent that they're going to give some folks a run for their money. Low kick's going to be received by two. That's Womack. He's going to come up field, make a few people miss. Still running hard and brought down around the 47. Hartfield will have it first and 10. First and 10, Hartfield. They're on 46. First and 10, Hawks. Ball marked at the 45 yard line. Hawks have spread the field out. Two receivers down this near side, one top side, pistol set. Now they'll take the running back and split him and give it to him off tackle. Bounces to the outside. Kennedy brings it down in the backfield. That's not Kennedy, that is Adcock on the tackle. 32 Adcock in there. Brings him down for no gain. They'll mark him at the line of scrimmage, make it second 10, Hartfield. Good job by Adcock. Sophomore, defensive end, linebacker, tight end for the Cougars. Quarterback rolls out this time, looking to throw. Still looking. Throws out here to two and a good job. Oh, Cougars just didn't bring him down. They had him. Had him at the line of scrimmage and just missed the tackle. Two breaks loose and gains about seven. We'll make it third and three for the Hawks. Seven yard gain. That was 13 on the first contact for Simpson. Jacob Colson just couldn't get him down. And again, that's a pretty talented kid. He's trying to tackle. So third and three, Hawks. And 
And a timeout, Hartfield. Timeout, Hartfield. Hartfield. Score, Hartfield 21, Simpson 7. We'll take a timeout and be back here to Simpson Academy in just a moment. We're back third and we'll call it four for Hartfield. And give it to Jaslowski off tackle. Oh, good job. Cougars come up, make the tackle. He's going to be short of the first down. Gained a yard. The Cougars come up with the ball. I don't know if they're calling it a fumble or not. We're still waiting on the call. The Cougars definitely think he fumbled it. That's Adcock with the football, but they're going to call him down. It looks like this near. Referee calls him down, fourth and three. Good job by the Cougar front right there to come up and meet Jaslowski in the, right in the hole and bring him down. Fourth and three. Come on, Cougar D, get a stop. Shotgun set. Jaslowski, you're running back. Quarterback, hard count. Cougars don't jump. Now he's going to punt it. Yep, he backed up a little bit. Quick punt. That uh, quarterback backed up a few steps. He knew he was going to quick punt it, and he did a good job. It's going to bounce inside the 10 to the 8. Cougars will have it first and 10, but a good job by the Cougar D. Good stop. Good stop. First and 10, Cougars. Again, it got to be around three minutes, maybe less left here in the first half. No mistakes here. Take care of the football, run on the clock. First down or two, and then we'll go into halftime. Cougars look much better tonight than what they did last week. Already you can see improvement. And again, this football team, the Cougars look like they're going to go to just down it. So it must be not much time left on the clock. Cougars go to this set, almost a victory set. They're going to take a knee. So Coach Mangum knows, talking to the officials, how much time is left in the half. There they go. That's it. That's a lot. So, not much time left at all. So that's going to be halftime. Scored halftime. Hartfield 21. Simpson 7. Pretty doggone good first half for your Cougars. We'll take a break and be back to Simpson Academy in about 15 minutes. New promotion for the 2023 season from your Cougar football, Zaxby's Kicking for Chicken. A lucky student has been randomly selected to attempt a 20-yard field goal. If the field goal is good, the contestant will receive a $50 gift certificate. But tonight's lucky contestant is Braden Ellis. We're here with the halftime analysis with Kobe Walker, 
Cody, what did you think about that first half? Man, we really impressed how we played. Um, we just we just got to um, get Barrett. Get Barrett. Um, give, we have to give him enough time to get set. Um, our line has to block. Um, but other than that, I mean, really impressed how we played. Yeah, I, I thought we played solid, controlled the tempo. Yeah, we're we're down 21-7, but this is a this is a very very good Hartfield team, and and uh, you know the Cougars the Cougars uh, showing a lot of fight, a lot of competing within what they're doing. I think uh, uh, this week has been much better than last as far as the grit, the toughness, uh, just them them trying to compete every play in the moment yeah um another thing is that hartfield's running back is really good um so yes, the second is. the second half we gotta we gotta do enough job to um contain him and not let him um get yardage make them make them throw it because they can't throw it that much in the first half so if we can make them throw it i mean i think we can tame the offense if we can score yeah, I agree. I think that's rock solid analysis. Stop 11 um, and, and force them into some long third downs to where they have to throw the football. And uh, I think we got a good chance to just hang in the ball game and maybe steal this one. Oh, yeah. I mean, Harp, they're a really good team. And that first half, um, that first drive looked outstanding. It really did. Um, so, second half, we just come out here and play Simpson football and come out and win this game. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Well, guys, uh, the the halftime report, and we, we really need a sponsor for Kobe's halftime report. We're, we're going to try to make that happen over the next few weeks. But, uh, Kobe, great analysis, and uh, we're looking forward to the, the post-game analysis for you and, uh, and also uh, your um, analysis over the coming weeks. So really appreciate that halftime analysis, and, and we'll get back with you at the end of the game. Thank you. Thank you so much. for the 2023 Hartfield Academy dance team.
Please welcome to the field 2023 Parkfield Varsity Cheer.
Oh, I thought you were somebody else. <laughs> you have something? I don't know. Oh, you're hard filled. I'm sorry. What's Kathy Smith's daughter's name? That's who I thought she was. Daddy Kate. I thought that was Daddy Kate. <laughs>
It's just itchy and that's a good one there. Put it in the playlist. Just all right. <laughs> oh, just for you. We got them two in there. So we'll do. We need to play your cheat hard. <laughs> 
<laughs> no. Our fans might would do it, though. It would definitely mm-hmm. All right, we're back, ready for the kick. Cougars will kick to start the second half. Again, no scoreboard, score 21-7. Going to be Womack on the return, and he's going to get over the 40. Still running hard. He's going to get knocked down around the 42 is where they'll mark it. First and 10 for Hartfield. Cougars losing 21-7, to I'm going to tell you, and we talked about it earlier. This is a much better performance tonight by the Cougars. Definitely have got better from week one to week two. Young team, only four seniors. Just got to keep working and keep getting better. Hartfield has it first and ten. Again, very impressed with Hartfield. Lots and lots of talent on this football team. They do a lot of good stuff. Well-coached team. First and ten, they're going to throw it out here to the outside, hit one. He's going to make a cut. Oh, wow. Now he's showing some speed down the sideline. I don't think we'll get him. We won't. That's going to be a touchdown for Hartfield on the first play. Just a little quick pass to the outside to Kenzie West, the junior receiver. And, and he makes a cut or two, and he's gone down the sideline first. Play of the second half goes for a touchdown. Oh, Hartfield extends their lead to 27-7, waiting on the extra point. And it is good. New score, Hartfield 28, Simpson 7. We'll take a quick break. Be back for the kick in just a moment. Wow, he put that foot in the dirt. That's one of the players you ain't really heard nothing about. Barely. Is that Iran? All right, we're back. Hartfield ready to kick. Back deep for the Cougars is number nine, Kennedy. And that kick's going to go in the end zone. The Cougars will have it at the 20-yard line, first and 10. McKinney coming in with the play call. All right, thing you don't want to see is you don't want to see a drop in intensity and effort. I know it's tough, 28 to 7, but got to keep getting better. Got to keep fighting to get better every week. And another fumble snap. That's about the third or fourth one we've had tonight. Cougars get on top of it. It's going to be no game. Make it second and 10. Second 10, Cougars. Coach Mang will bring in the plays in from the sideline tonight. Duncan will bring the play in. Cougars take receivers to boat to the far side. They're going to throw that way. Got a little. Oh, nicely read by Hartfield. Drops incomplete. No, that was to Funches. A little hitch pattern to Funches and just uh, read by that outside linebacker. And incomplete makes it third and ten. Third and ten. Cougars. 
Cougars trying to set up the wheel route that time to Duncan, but McKinney went to the first option, which was Funches just on a little hitch, and uh, Tian just jumped out in front of it and knocked it down. Good thing he didn't catch it. McKinney looking throw, under pressure, throws deep, and that's going to be picked. Picked by the free safety, and he's going to be tackled right there by 32 Adcock around the 37, 38 yard line. Hartfield has it first and 10. He'll mark it at the 30, 37, first and 10 Hawks. About four or five. Give him five. Make it second and five for the Hawks. Just listen to these sizes for Hartfield on their line. 77, 6'3", 305. 6'2", 275. 6'4", 365. 6'3", 220. 6'2", 240. 6'4", 243, 6'1", and a touchdown Hartfield. Boy, they strike again quick. That's 34, Reed Gaston going into the end zone. I know his dad loves to see that. Football field that he played on for many, many years and was a great football player here at Simpson Academy. Now he gets to see his son score a touchdown on that same field. I know his granddaddy, Coach Hamp Gaston, smiling from heaven. Reed looks so much like his daddy out there on that field. Just a big, tall, strong looking kid. Touchdown, Hartfield. Extra point up. Extra point is good. So your new score, Hartfield 35, Simpson 7. We'll take a break. Be back for the kick here in just a moment. Now we're back, Hartfield ready to kick. Now leading 35 to 7 over the Cougars. Another good kick. It's going to go in the end zone once again. And the Cougars have it first and 10 from the 20. Another touchback. Cougars will start at their own 20 yard line. First and 10. A A C C S, not in our district, but a uh, opponent we may see later in the playoffs again. McKinney looking to throw, drops back, got a little time. Now he rolls out right, throws, and incomplete. Third and ten Cougars. Pass intended for Duncan. Good coverage by Hartfield. Pass incomplete. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. Got gotcha. you. Yep, yep. All right, third and ten. Kenny looking to throw. Throw it across the middle. Got a man. He hits him. That's Adcock. Running hard. Running over a guy to the 35-yard line. First and ten. Good pass, catch, and run. Right First down, Cougars. Cougars on the move. Ball marked at 34-yard line. First and 10. Bunch set near side. Pitch out to Kennedy. Got a little room. Running hard. Still running. Going to get inside the 30, close to the 26, 27-yard line. We'll give him about five yards on the play. Second five. Good hard run by Ben Kennedy. Actually, they'll six give him yards, six yards, make yards it six, give him three. seven yards. Second three, good run by Ben Kennedy. And we have the six-minute mark here in the fourth quarter. So a timeout, official timeout. We'll take a timeout with them. Be back here to Simpson Academy in just a moment. Six minutes. Six minutes left. All right, we're back. Second two, Simpson. Gill running hard. It's going to be enough for a first down, looks like. First to ten, Simpson. First down, Cougars. Coach McNulty getting better and better as the game goes on with his first down calls. <laughs> I love it. Give the two. That's Barry pulling tacklers with him down around the 20 and might just be inside the 20 a little. Give him about four or five. Second down, Cougars. Nice run by Hayes Barry. For five yards, going to bring up second and five. First and ten, Cougars. McKinney rolling out, looking, throwing deep to Funches. I think he's got him. He does. Touchdown, Simpson. Oh, he's out of the end zone. Out of the end zone, incomplete. Third and five. McKinney to Funches. Out of the back of the end zone. Third and five. Something burning. Come 
pass. Oh, complete it. Nice catch by Adcock. A little one-headed over-the-shoulder catch. Pass complete. That's enough for a first down. Simpson, that'll move the chains. Cougars. McKinney Adcock. Yes, sir. Better and better. I love it. First and ten, Simpson. Oh, fumbled it. McKinney picks it up, runs it upfield. Might have gained a yard or two. Carry by McKinney. Two-yard run. And Hartfield has a man down, so we have an official timeout. Official timeout. We're going to stay with you here so you can listen to some of Coach McNulty's 80s jam. Got his son up here dancing in the press box, breaking it down. Cougars have it. Second down, eight. Ball marked close to the 10 yard line. McKinney looking to throw, got time, throws across the middle, incomplete. Pass like it was intended for it. There's a flag, a late flag. It's going to be a hold on Hartfield. Yep, they were holding Funches again. That'll be an automatic first down, I believe. I don't know if we have automatic first downs in high school, though. Let's just see. Nope, no, no automatic. So it'll be replayed second down, second three. Going to be knock us back to around the 11 or 12 yard line on fumble there. So it'll be third and long for Simpson now. Third and about eight or nine. We had a good chance to really knock that one in. Now we put ourselves in a tough position. Third and eight for the Cougars. Kenny rolling, throwing it out here to the outside. Got his man Kennedy. Breaks a tackle, still running. He's going to be close to the first down. Not sure if he got it or not, but he's awful close. And it is first down. First and goal. First and goal, Cougars. Let's knock one in right here. Cougars. First and goal from the five.
Kennedy looks like running hard. He's close, and they give it to him. Touchdown, Touchdown Cougars. Cougars. Fights on ready. You got the fights on ready? Not yet. Not yet, sir. Yeah, all I do is win. Good job, good job. In to try the extra point for the Cougars. Number 25, Parker Pierce. Done a good job tonight. Good snap. Oh, right behind him a little bit. Now he's looking to throw. He throws a crazy. He's got him. And the two-point conversion is good. Good job by McKinney. He rolled out right. Nothing there. Turned around, looked back to his left, and found his receiver in the end zone. Two-point conversion is good. So your new score, 48 for Hartfield, 22 for Simpson. We'll take a quick break. Be back for the kick in just a moment. I'll take 48 to 22. No running clock. Is that the game? That's the game. Wow. And that's your football game, folks. Again, no clock, so we couldn't tell what uh, how much time was left in the game. But your final score, Hartfield 48, Simpson 22. Next home game, next week, Friday night here at Simpson Academy. We'll be playing ACCS. Hope to see you here. Everybody have a good weekend. See you next week. That's crazy. Gents, enjoyed it.